to London and welcome back to winter. There's frost on the ground, my hands are freezing, I should have worn gloves. I'm heading to meet Jimmy and Chris for a quick spin. You missed all the fun stuff, sorry, sorry guys. It's over for you. Hey guys, how are you? Bye. Hey guys, how are you? No, I, I'll see you that. Oh, I'm all right, how are you? Yeah. I'm good. Go on, explain what the thing is. This, there's this flipping thing that keeps coming up on my Instagram and because I find it so funny, I swipe. And <laughs> You, you comment on it all the time. Yeah, and now it keeps coming up and the only way I'm going to get rid of it is if I buy one. Are you riding tubeless on that front one still, mate? Uh, no. Uh, Did I see that something exploded? Yeah. That picture, look, was that literally just like... Um... It literally just in his face, yeah. <laughs> hey, Jimmy, what's it like actually riding a bike? Um, it's kind of always what I imagined it to be. You know, you like turn your legs. But yeah, can we go to the coffee shop now? <laughs> what do you want? What? Who's he on the phone to? I think he's doing a dodgy deal. He looks so dodgy right he now. He does, doesn't he? he? Look like a pirate. Well, why has he walked away from us? Because he's dodgy. Pirate in cleats. Pirate in cleats. Pirate, you know, arr, in cleats. What have you done? He's got a fox on me. Back his little face. What does this symbolise, Chris? Uh, it's as good as that one. I've got that one as well. This I got done uh, for my nan, because my grandparents used to run an animal charity, and my nan... Uh, used to put balloons on foxes and send them flying away. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> my nan used to put balloons. <laughs> Free the fox. <laughs> we've, got, we've got too many animals, what are we going to do? <laughs> it's been so cruel. Cool. Animal charity, you've got, to have it in, you've got to have it in equal measures. Good bits for animal charity, bad bits. Together. Perfect. You can't put that in your video. Chris, this has been annoying me for ages. What, this? Yeah. It's a 109 millimetre stem. I know. <laughs> Seriously, what is that? It's a stem that's 109 mil long. But why? Because, I don't that's know. It's a weird length. I know, it is. Because when 108 is too small, Everyo 110 is too small. Everybody long. knows that humans are made to the centimetre. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so every human comes out dead on... 110 millimetre stems. 110 millimetre Or 120 stem. millimetre or 130, oh, yeah. Now everyone's going to be like... Bye. He's in your dancing, uh... I do, do you want to join in? That's great, put someone on the spot. <laughs> so I was just going to head over to James's shop, but he's in a bike fit at the moment. So, time to catch up with someone I haven't seen in ages. What are you doing here? How's it going? Yeah, how good, how are you? Oh, thanks. Your fluff has changed. Has it been that long since I've seen you? Yeah, mate, have you had that for a long time? Yeah. I'm jealous. It's tiny. He's <laughs> jealous of the fluff. Yeah, I am jealous of the fluff because mine's like four times the size even though this is... What have you been up to, man? Where have you been? You've been in Turkey, I racing. I have been in Turkey. Mate, I came back like two weeks ago. But yeah, I've been to Turkey. Did um, you win? I, did, I, I, I came very close, man. Look, I literally, I've never been so close to winning a UCI race. Got within 10 metres of winning a race. Really? Yeah. I attacked with 3k to go, 2k to go. Brought two with me. One of them sat on. Were they riders you knew, or were they just Turkish fans? Uh, right? It was the Swiss national team. Oh, well, not a bad team to lose to, yeah. I suppose. Yeah, he just sat on me, and then like 200 meters ago, jumped around me and won the stage, and then I got I got swallowed in the last 15 meters, and I got like eighth or something. Oh, man. And he was just there, and he was like, oh, Solid oh, effort, though. Oh, mate, it was good fun. But anyway, man, you're back. Just had a meeting about some top secret stuff. Now, uh, let's go see James. Here. Big hockey nose. It's Wait, all God. Rocked up. I've avoided this voice for like three weeks. As soon as I come back and hang out with you guys. Hello, my goodness. He's got a multi colored helmet on. It's very dotty. Dude, what did you do to your helmet? <laughs> yeah, what happened to your helmet? What happened That's to your helmet? Question. It has you, got, a... you got the funny horns sticking out as well. There's a, there's a dent on <laughs> yes. There is actually a dent on the side somewhere. Is that from America? From Red Hook. From Red Hook. Damn. Yeah. You know what's really difficult? What's that? Keeping up with him on these tyres. <laughs> We, well, we've already established he's badass. He is badass. Do you know, have you seen our time-lapse team? That's that's particularly badass, isn't it? Yeah. You're going to win, in when, fact. When, when you're on a team with Lawrence and he isn't the strongest rider, yeah. you know, yeah. shit's if, gone if down. You, if you don't win, you have to win, don't you? There's such a high expectation out there now that, you know, if, if you don't win, you'll be a mockery. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Shimano road shoes, uh, gravel racing in South Africa. I have, I have messed them up by scratching them. 
Okay. So I'm getting some new ones. So you've been riding a 42. 43. 43. 41. Which is what a lot of people do, they size up and then... Yeah, totally. So size up to accommodate feet. the width of the foot. So you're 41 and a half, 42. So I reckon you need 42 wide. Yeah, 42 wide, mate. You could work in a shoe shop. I could, you're right. You kind of do. It might even be a bike fair. Still need a bike fair. Still trying to find a bloody bike fair. Put it in the comments. Tio's osteopaths and chiros. If anyone, wants, if anyone, wants, if anyone wants to try a bike thing. But you must be able to work Saturdays. This is the problem that I've had. I mean, I'm happy to, happy to employ someone part-time, but I need someone to work on Saturdays. I can't be bike fitting all the time. Because you want to go and ride your bike? I, I, well, I want to go and ride my bike, but also, I, I've got to help Perry on the shop floor. Check this out. Oh, looks exactly the same. What do you mean it looks exactly the same, <laughs> you asshole? I've got my jig back, rather than using that Fisher Price, Fisher Price piece of shit in the back there. Uh, not Lawrence. <laughs> Pressure mapping, we've got um, video analysis on all four planes. So like, you know, some of the best bike fitting equipment in London. So nice to be back fitting proper. It's, it's, it's an interesting, an interesting insight as to how other shops fit and like the lack of attention to detail that's carried out. Like historically, they didn't even measure people's feet in here. It's like got the evil dots that yeah, the evil dots they multiply this, and they ruin your life for toilet. years. All sorts of cool stuff. It's great. Got new bike brands. Oh, check this out. Well, you're familiar with that, but green one. Open, which is like a super exciting brand. They basically invented the gravel bike. Gerard Vrooman, isn't it? Yep, Gerard Vrooman. Uh, that bike will take... So like, this is like, he does 3T as well, but this is the supposed to be premium. Correct, one, yeah. yeah. Interesting stuff coming up for, for next year as well. <laughs> <laughs> you can tell he's a cyclist. It's like that Eddie Merckx thing. Why stand when you can sit down? <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Off you go, mate. You're interrupting us. You didn't bring your camera. <laughs> No, I, I don't have a vlog to make today. You don't have a vlog. I've already got three about vlogs. Lawrence, where, is your, where are your videos <laughs> My videos are coming. They are consistently coming on YouTube. <laughs> They're not. I was going to say something else there. You're so <laughs> <laughs> Consistently coming all over your face. <laughs> it will take 650B, 700C, up to 42C tyre, even a 2.1 inch tyre. Um, it's pretty much the only bike on the market that actually has a genuine flat mount for the brakes as well. Basically, it started the gravel movement, if you like, um, and everybody pretty much has copied the thing. So this whole drop chainstay allows you to use different sizes of wheels. So super versatile, Weird, very it? light. They're similar to a Cervelo, to be honest. Um, so it's, it's not terrible. It's not a terrible position. It's a fun bike. That's going to be my demo. I'm going to have a demo bike. Um, which will be my bike. <laughs> Is it going to be available for people to demo? Never, because it's going to be in my shed. Top speed, it's there. Mm. Wow. Yeah, it's only got 11, mate. You can't count. Oh, that's it. So you have to get out of Got such a lady's ass. Fuck you, mate. <laughs> you do have a lady's bum. And that's the conversation not weird. starts and ends here. Get out. I, uh, yeah, nice, it spins. Yep, goes around. It's circular. It's expensive. They're sold, actually. Did you give them that sales pitch? I, I want to put bikes in here that people walk in and go, Whoa. You can see a £2,000 Bianchi in an Evans shop, whereas you can't see stuff like this in an everyday shop. Yeah, man, give people a reason um, to come. Absolutely. We're going to try and keep the shop floor constantly filled with, like, with bike porn. Because we sell, we sell, we sell stuff like this on a regular basis, so it's it's pretty easy to keep it looking fresh. Could take these off, though, mate. Do you need some or something? No, no, I've got a special place for these. <laughs> so, what are you planning, James? What are you planning? Everyone wants to see another Project USA, don't they? Kamut is back. Do we? Do we set the bar? It's kind of. Does everyone want to see us ride across another continent? You're gonna bring a mech hanger. <laughs> I'll bring. You're gonna bring five mech hangers. You smash it across Western Europe and get to I don't know somewhere like Slovakia. See you later. Cheers, dude. Ciao. 
it's a bit weird being filmed by someone else, I'll be honest. <laughs> it does nice. mix it up, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah. You, you become a Don't presenter. Know what to say. You become a presenter instead of a, a vlogger, and it does, it does change the game. There's a guy with a GoPro on his head. It's just a competition, isn't it? See? It's competition. Making me extremely nervous, they're actually circling us. And one of them is actually wearing a cold jersey. Maybe he knows who you are. 